time it's sand is on the shore, sees every sparrow that falls. He made the mountains and the sea, is in control of everything, all creatures great and small. step that I take, every move that I make, every tear that I cry, and He knows my name. When I'm overwhelmed by the pain, can you see the light of day? I know I'll be just fine. I don't have all the answers to the questions of the life, but I know in whom I have believed, and He knows my name. Every step that I take, every move that I make, every tear that I cry, and He knows my name. When I'm overwhelmed. Amen, amen, I enjoy them. You know, I hope you are getting a blessing out there, because I sure am. It's great to see these young people out here singing for the Lord. Amen. I keep asking if they got CDs yet. <laughs> yeah. So they will have some CDs. They're going to try to get some made next month. So you just take and give them a call and stuff, and Jonathan will get the number here, and they'll tell it here. But also, you can call in here tonight, 606-528-4671. Whatever your needs are, just call in. The Lord knows it before you even ask. But by picking that phone up, that's putting a work of faith. It is. And I've said it many a times. you got to put faith and works together. Because about neither one of them, either one is dead. Because they both go hand in hand. And, you know, when you're picking that phone up, that's putting your faith to work. It is. And, you know, when you say it here, just like I've said plenty of times, one put a thousand flat, two put ten thousand. Let's get all them prayer warriors out there and you see how many can go to flight. And you see things get done. I've seen people healed. I've seen people saved. And, you know, and the main thing is seeing the lost get saved. It is. And uh, we got a phone ringing up there right now. But also, I want to remind everyone, you know, there's still a lot of prayers out there that's been called in. I ain't forgot you. Uh, there's too many to mention to go over. But uh, also, I want to send this out also to one out in Pineville that called my home. What needed prayer here about a month ago. And you know, when I went down to the basement and prayed with him, he's needing something other. He called me back, it's either three, maybe even five days later, the Lord moved up on that. Amen. He called me back, and I wasn't expecting it. But he called back, he said, Brother, I just want to tell you, the Lord moved. He did. So, amen. That's what I'm saying. Like I said on the last program, we've got to get in our prayer closet, wherever you may be, because he is listening. He knows whether you're praying. He knows your heart. And if you're truly mean it, just like the scripture said a while ago, doubt not in your heart, but truly mean it. Oh, hallelujah. I'm not ready to shout. I feel the power of the Lord there, Jonathan. All right. Amen, because I've seen things done. And you know, I'm a living proof. When I had first, second, third, and beyond third-degree burns, when I was seeing my bone 
and nothing but raw meat, Jonathan, out of that explosion. They, the doctor's saying there's going to be skin graft that have to be sent to Burn Center's Ohio State. Right. But the Lord moved. I never had a skin graft, never left the state. Right, brother. Amen. So don't tell me he still ain't in the working business. He's the same now as he was years ago. Right, he never changes. Right Amen. Jonathan, we're going to bring us the word here tonight, and I appreciate him. Uh, but you just keep calling in, have them phones ringing. It don't matter what your needs are. Right, 